So we are back to talk about Jim Crow Joe. In this instance, he's going to be Mr. Touchy Philly Joe. You know, this man just can't seem to keep his hands to himself like ever. And that's why people always keep an eye on this guy, especially when he's around women. So we all know that that is Joe Biden in the picture to the right. But on the left is this woman by the name of Tara Reid. Now, this is an older picture of her. She looks different now. I actually see in a, re- a re- more recent picture of her. Um, and this, you can tell, was back like in the 90s. So apparently allegations have come about from Tara Reid saying that Joe Biden had sexually assaulted her back in 1993. And people are noticing that a certain organization is being deafening, deafeningly quiet about this entire situation. And they aren't the only ones quiet, but they are being extremely quiet. And I have a feeling I know as to why. But I'm going to give my reasoning after I read this article. Joe Biden, the presumptive Democratic presidential nominee, has been accused of sexual assault by a former staffer, Tara Reid, who worked with Biden when he was a Delaware senator, alleges he inappropriately touched her and penetrated her with his fingers without consent in 1993. It happened all at once, and then his hands were on me and underneath my clothes, Reid recalled in an interview with podcast host Katie Harper on Wednesday. He said, come on, man, I heard you like me. For me, it was like everything shattered. I wanted to be a senator. I didn't want to sleep with one. Right wing news outlets have gleefully seized upon the accusations against Biden. The story has also been discussed by left wing commentators. However, the mainstream media, I'm sorry, lamestream media has largely ignored the allegations. Instead, there have been headlines like the top 10 women Joe Biden picked might pick as VP on CNN and Jim and Joe Biden's inner circle, no longer a boys club from the Associated Press. It is hugely frustrating to see conservatives who couldn't give a damn about the multiple sexual assault allegations against 45 weaponized the accusations against Biden. However, it is also frustrating to see many liberals turning a blind eye. The accusations against the former vice president are serious. Why aren't they being taken seriously? One obvious reason is that Reed's accusations are very hard to prove. The incident happened a long time ago and there weren't any witnesses. Reed also gave a slightly different version of the events last year. She accused Biden of touching her neck and shoulders in a way that was inappropriate and uncomfortable, but did not say anything sexual took place. This inconsistency obviously doesn't mean she's lying. Unfortunately, it is easy to use against her. Reed's story may be impossible to verify, but this is the case with the vast majority of sexual assault allegations. It is nearly always a case of he said, she said, and it is nearly always the he that is automatically believed. The Me Too heifers mantra, believe women, doesn't mean that women never lie. It means that our systems of power are biased towards believing men never lie. Well, see, the thing is, many of them have weaponized that believe women mantra into believe all women no matter what. That's more like what it sounds like. It means that it takes decades of allegations and scores of women coming forward for powerful men like Harvey Weinstein, Jeffrey Epstein, and you know they had to throw a brother in there, and that brother is Bill Cosby, to be brought to justice. And all the mantra means is that you shouldn't automatically disbelieve women. You know who has talked publicly about the importance of taking women seriously? Biden. During the Brett Kavanaugh hearings, Biden stood up for Dr. Christine Blasey Ford, noting for a woman to come forward in the glaring light of focus nationally, you've got to start off with the presumption that at least the essence of what she's talking about is real. Does this presumption not apply when the guy being accused is a Democrat running for president? It would seem that way. In January, according to a report from The Intercept, Reid asked for help from the Times of Legal Defense Fund, which has supported accusers of high profile like people like Weinstein. Reed was reportedly told by the National Women's Law Center, the organization within which Times Up Fund is housed, that it couldn't assist with accusations against the presidential candidate because it would jeopardize their nonprofit status. And there it is right there. There is why. Them Time's Up skanks and the Me Too helpers did not come to her aid. Let's just say that the woman is not telling the truth. There has been plenty of women, especially in the Cosby situation, that were lying their asses off. But the Me Too helpers and them Time Up skanks came out in full force, ready to attack. But because Joe Biden is a front runner to get the Democratic nomination in hopes to beat 45 and, you know, I guess you could say dethrone him. 
That's why they're not going to go with this, even if this could possibly not be true. Any other time they would do it. But because it's Joe Biden and he's a, a front runner to be a Democratic nominee for the uh, for the Democratic Party going into this presidency, this next this, uh, next four years, they're not going to do it. You just heard what they said right there. They let me read that again. Reed was reportedly told by the National Women's Law Center, the organization within which the Times of Fund is housed, that it couldn't assist with accusation against a presidential candidate because it would jeopardize their non-profit status. They're basically all in bed with each other. The Intercept further notes that the public relations firm that works on behalf of the Times of Legal Defense Fund is SKD. Knickerbocker, who's managing director, Anita Dunn, is the top advisor to Biden's presidential campaign. I feel like I don't have, I'm going to read the rest of it, but I feel like I shouldn't have to read anymore after reading those two sentences right there. Or that last, that last paragraph you just heard me read. So this woman, for all intents and purposes, said, I, like I said, could be lying. But what if she was telling the truth? I mean, Joe Biden has been known to be creepy around a lot of women. That's no secret. But let's just say that, you know, that she is embellishing and she's not telling the truth. Like I said, there's a lot of women that have been lying a lot, especially since, you know, this whole Me Too thing kicked off, especially when it came to Bill Cosby. Hell, even when it comes to an extent with R. Kelly. But they'll believe them then. They only believe them when... It's an agenda that is beneficial to them. If Joe Biden was someone that probably did not stand a chance in getting toe to toe with 45, they would probably let this thing go on. But because he is going against 45, they are doing their best to defend and deflect, defend him and deflect away from this terror read situation. See, that's why I, now you see why I tell you I cannot take the Me Too heifers and the Time Ups gang seriously because of stuff like this. They're not consistent and we know why. But let me go on and continue. There are some people who will insist that drawing attention to the new allegations against Biden is playing into the Republicans hands that it will destroy Biden's campaign and guarantee us four more years of Trump. That's the part right there. There it is right there. Even furthermore, that's what I truly believe. Not only is that argument hypocritical, it is also hugely unlikely that Reed's accusations will do any damage whatsoever to Biden's ambitions. Allegations of sexual assault certainly have imposed any hindrance to Trump. Well, to 45. We'll see 45 and Biden are two different entities, so you never know what it could do to someone else. You can't really say what happened, what, what instance happened with Trump will happen with Biden. Uh, let's see. The allegations against Kavanaugh didn't stop him from becoming a Supreme Court justice. The allegations against Louis C.K. didn't kill his career in comedy. And the multiple women who have accused Biden of touching them inappropriately in the past have exactly de- haven't exactly derailed his career. Well, what about the ones that were lying against Cosby? Look at where that put him at. Amazing they use him as an example when they say it comes to justice, but they didn't want to use him as an example of what happens when lies can be spilled over into the court of public opinion to be masked and disguised as truth. And that's pretty much the end of the article right there. But yeah, I can't take them, those chicks seriously, or the, their little advocates over there. They, you, me too, listen, I'm going to be honest. Me too and Time's Up, that is drag headquarters, okay? That is drag headquarters where the old throwback thoughts go to die that is where or, or try to continue to thrive i don't know what it is but it's for me it's all hypocrisy like they can comp- like i said she could be lying i don't know she could be telling the truth i'm not sure i'm just saying creepy uh, uh, uh touchy philly joe and jim crow joe has a history like we've seen the images we've seen the videos so it's not that far-fetched that he possibly could have did this 
But the fact of the matter is, is they are deflecting away from this woman's allegations and claims because of his position going against 45, possibly. Well, that's all I have to say right there. But I would like to hear from you down in the comments. Do you think this woman is telling the truth that Jim Crow, Jim Crow, uh, Joe Biden actually inappropriately touched or do you think that she's embellishing? But I think that we can all agree with each other when we say them times up uh, skanks and the Me Too heifers are some hypocritical. You know what? But y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. Make sure y'all follow me on Twitter if you haven't done so already. Have your notifications turned on and I will talk to you in the next one.